The Empress Zhang Xianming Su was the third empress of the Emperor Zhenzhong of Song. She was considered as one of the greatest female rulers in ancient China. She almost became the other female emperor in ancient Chinese history. If you are already watched my video about the story Wild Cat Exchanged for the Crown Prince, would you like to guess who was the Empress Zhang Xianming Su in this story? The answer is the Consort Liu. In the story, the Consort Liu is an evil person, but in real history, the Empress Zhang Xianming Su had many aspects. We couldn't simply say she was evil or kind. The Empress Zhang Xianming Su was called Liu E. In this video, let's see her stories. Liu E grew up in Su, where was today's Sichuan province of China. Liu E lost her parents when she was an infant and was raised by her mother's relatives. To support herself, Liu E became a singer and was married with a poor silver smith, Gong Mei, when she was really young. Although both Liu E and Gong Mei had jobs, but their earnings wasn't enough to support their lives. To survive, they came to the big city, Bianliang, which was the capital of Song. Unfortunately, their lives didn't change very much or became even worse. So Gong Mei decided to sell Liu E to other people. In this situation, most girls would have a horrible future. But Liu E was really, really lucky. She was sold to the Prince Han of the first rank and was deeply loved by the Prince Han. The Prince Han's white nurse really hated Liu E, so she discovered Liu E to the Emperor Taizong. Up on getting the news, Taizong was furious and kicked Liu E out of Prince Han's palace. Then Taizong arranged Prince Han to marry Pan Shi, who was the daughter of a high-rank government officer. The Prince Han didn't dare to obey his father. He was married with Pan Shi, but hid Liu E in Zhang Qi's home. Liu E was a really wise woman. When she lived in Zhang Qi's home, she read lots of books about managing the court as she waited the chance to reunion with Prince Han. In 1997, the Emperor Taizong passed away. The Prince Han inherited the throne, known as the Emperor Zhenzhong of Song. Zhenzhong promoted his second wife as the Empress, known as the Empress Guo, and brought back Liu Le. Because Liu E's background, at the beginning, Liu E didn't get any title. After came into the inner court, Liu E never struggled to gain favor and had great relationships with Zhenzhong's empress and consorts, especially Yang Shi, who was the future consort Shu. Yang Shi was Zhenzhong's another favorite concubine. Liu E and Yang Shi had lifetime friendship. They helped each other and became an invisible team in the Imperial Palace. They always got promotion at the same time. In 1007, the Empress Guo passed away. 
Jin Zhong wanted to promote Liu Er to the empress, but most of important government officers strongly disagree, because Liu Er was from a lower class family. They thought the emperor should elect the empress from noble families. Although Jin Zhong deeply loved Liu Er, but in ancient time. Electing the empress wasn't only a family event. The empress should consider the government officers' advice. So, Jin Zhong had to temporarily give up and seek another opportunities. Well, this time the lady lucky smiled on Liu He again. A maid helped Liu He and Jin Zhong get. What they want. Thank you for watching this video. Tomorrow, let's see how did Liu Er became the Empress.